Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to another train simulator live stream. Uh, in today's one we are on the Chilton mainline taking our first look at it. Obviously big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a code to show it off. Um, we are at Birmingham Snow Hill I believe at the moment. Uh, looks like we are due out so let's get this all set up. I think this is a 165. If you want to drive up please depart immediately. Your first stop on the service is to London is Birmingham Moor Street 11.14 to 15.00. Why has AWS not gone off? Don't know, maybe it's already on. Um, yes, yeah, so we're on a 165. This is the Just Strange Chilton main line. Um, right, let's get going then. <coughs> off we go. Anyway, let's see what we've got in the chat. We have got uh, Trainspot 7, we've got Sebastian, we've got Davidoff, we've got Luke, we've got Trainspot 7, we've got Metro, we've got Davidoff, we've got Mason, we've got Kevin, and we've got Luke. What do you mean it's unplayable? Uh, Luke. Oh, we just started, Kevin. Yeah, it just started. Off we go. So, uh, station stops today are. Let's quickly get that into. Can we not get into neutral? I want it on zero. No? Okay, maybe we can't. Okay, we'll keep it in that then. Oh, we're speeding. Of course we are. Luckily, it's not career, so we won't lose points, which is. Which is very good. Um, our station stops today are Birmingham, Moor Street, Solihull, Dorridge, Warwick Parkway, Warwick, Leamington Spa, um, uh, Banbury. Oh god, here we go again. Um, Bista, Bista, uh, Bista North, and then London Marlebone. Hello, Simon. It's pretty steep coming down here, isn't it? Yeah, luckily it's not career, so we won't get minus points, which is really annoying. <clears throat> yeah, we're going all the way to London, Marlebone, and we're due there at 13.09, so it's about two hours. Anyway, 111, blimey, 111 miles. So we've got quite a way. Well, there are not many stops, so that's what sort of makes it a little quicker. Cool. Quite a cool station this one. It's got that um, classic feel to it. I don't know what era would this be. None, uh, I don't know what era this would be. 1920s or 30s, something like that. Right, here we are. Yeah, awesome station. Let's get the doors open. Yeah, how do we get AWS on? Because I don't think AWS is on by default. How do you turn that on? I always forget the uh, always forget the buttons for it. Maybe it is already on. Don't know. Yeah, not too sure. Does that work? No. So there's not a lot you can do in this. I think you get this train and the 68 included with the route. Here comes another service, right away, next stop is Solihull, 11.23. Oh, I can't do the bell, that's not fair. Doesn't let me do it back. Alright, let's get going. Uh, did you uh, go and part the old Great Central Railway? That's true, yeah. Ooh, is that let's go. Of course, I think some services do terminate here. Proper modern though, isn't it, around here? You're at the airport right now, awesome Kevin, where are you going? Or are you just plane to put him? I'm a good David off. Oh, you've got the Aston Martin DB5 and GTA. Fair enough. Well, when your next heist is ready, let us know. Hello, Blockland 1, this BA London Midland service instead of a Chilton one. Uh, we're on the Chilton main line, so... Yeah, it would be... Well, as it's, um... Diesel uh, would be Chilton. Although London Midland, don't they have 172s, don't they? Well, they don't go to Marlebone. Hello, Game Pond just bought this, awesome. Uh, which closed in 1964 to passenger services and 1968 to freight service. Hello, Daniel. Yeah, sure did have it off. How do you doing, Aviation? Yeah, I've only set it to two streams today. Well, there probably will be another one. Just don't know on what. 
won't be trucking because um, we'd be doing that tomorrow most likely right at the weekend uh, but maybe maybe some flying again who knows you're going to Oslo in Norway awesome Kevin right where's Solihull then how far is that 5.9 miles very quiet hmm. and we're off but yeah this is a just trains route um, so the people who are now going to be working on Trains and World 2 content so you never know, maybe we'll see the Chilton main line. I think under Beecham, but I'm not sure, probably. Oh, awesome block then. Oh, we got some sort of main line coming out of there, it's all tons of tracks. Right, how far to Solly Hall? We've still got five miles, I don't know what that is coming up there. Yes, drop there. Yeah, hopefully it's running all fine on stream. Do let me know. This looks all different as well at the. Um, I don't think it's just all in capitals. No, I think things do look slightly different. Sort of fonts and the way the signals are. There we go. Was I need <laughs> fair enough, Daniel? You did a service on the Baker and the train went so slow. Um, no. I shouldn't go so slow. Yeah, hopefully it's running well on stream. Do let me know. How long will this route be? I think it's 112 miles. And uh, we've still got 109 miles to London Mile alone. That can't be 60 across there, can it? Oh, it is. Blimey. Okay. See my last comment. Um, how do I use the weapons on the? Oh, the one I've got. Um, you need to get the weaponized version. It's the JB 700W. You can't just get the standard version with the weapons, which is a bit weird. But yeah, you have to have the weaponized one. That'd be cool, Andrew. I think that was Tilsley that one. So we can get up to 80. DIY. I wonder if that's supposed to be BNQ. Yeah, a pretty uh, long route. So yeah, enjoy the journey. From second biggest city in the UK to, well, London, which is the biggest. Yeah, hopefully it's not stuttering on stream. Let's double check. Solid Hill, we've got three miles. So yeah, we're making our way out of Birmingham at the moment. Cool, yeah, we're going all the way down. Wow, it is quite a distance. Where, what's this line here then? What's this all about? Wembley Park. That's slightly different the way you can go as well then. Uh, what is the route from and to what stations? Uh, Marlebone to Birmingham, Snow Hill. Well, yeah, uh, Snow Hill. Pretty much squirrel. Uh, was that a squirrel a video on this? A few years old, but not too bad. Awesome. I think I've seen that before in the 68. I think it was. Blimey, Mitch. Quite late then. Fair enough, Daniel. What stations are we stopping at? Uh, Solihull, Dorridge, Warwick Parkway, Warwick, Leamington Spa, Banbury, Bista, Bista North and London Marlebone. Look at the difference between st stops there, look. 51 miles, 106 miles. Almost 60 miles between those stops, wow. This is a uh, pretty fast service. I'm good Kevin, how are you? way more tracks along here. Yeah, hopefully everyone's well. We've got 24 people in. What's everyone up to today? Oh, 
GPS drop again. Because it is a pretty long route and long, long the routes you do get issues at times. Let's uh, bring that down. As we uh, break something brilliant as we approach Sully Hall. Come on, slow down. <laughs> yeah, the brakes are. Hmm, they're alright. Uh, probably, yeah, David, I, I think I did see it. Oh no, you got both yours and normal weapons. Uh, I think you have to buy it in. We'll go to LS Customs and add it. I took it over this morning for a service MOT, fair enough. It's a class 165. Yeah, 165, I think. Yeah, 165. Right, this is Sully Hall. We've got another service there. Alice in Aviation, you had a good day. I've only been up about an hour, so yeah, so far so good. I don't know why it's GWR benches here. So I maybe this was GWR region a long time ago? No. Would it be? Don't know. Right, anyway, here we are. This is Holly Hall. got it added but now do you use it oh uh square yeah it's unlike when you change your weapons in the car it'll be on there you'll get started due to scenery loading using the tiling technology uh, after i've told you what the next british route for tsw is uh no no the role of the ambassador is to show off things and you know that sort of stuff Right, right away, Dorridge. I know that is like proper inside information, so no. Right, let's get going. They say alright for some. Yeah. Lazy boy. Um, Hello, Fury. Train some mod 2. Um, you like Train some mod 2? Uh, nice, Fury. No. South Force Mainline, hopefully. That'll be cool, James. He's very quiet in the cab. Very quiet. Fair enough, uh, Sim. Hey, Amanda. How are you? Yeah, it's Dorridge next in three miles. So yeah, still coming out of Birmingham. Did you say you were going to be swapping your mods around? Uh, no. What I did, I can't remember. Head on, G, the 165 is a bit unrealistic from just trains on this route as they only did the Chilton local services. The mainline ones are usually 168 hours. I've got your NG. 168, I'm thinking in my head. Yeah, got them. I know, they look like turbo stars, don't they? Or similar. Well, maybe they are turbo stars, but yeah, I've got them. Ooh, lovely man. Yeah, a, bit, uh, F a few FPS drops on this route. But then, yeah, Game of Mind said uh, tiling technology, so I don't know if that's different on this route. But then it is an extremely long route. Um, yeah, <laughs> 103 miles to London, by the way. So. Turbo stars, yeah. He's only been out around an hour. 
Right, let's uh, start slowly bringing that down for Dorridge. Another service here. There it goes. Not sure Chilton even have one six fives in the Grey Mainline livery. I think they're only in the Chilton Standard Blue. Oh, am I? <laughs> Hello, Magnum. It's the wrong train. It hurts me so much. Because when I think of the Chilton Mainline, I always think I always think I was sort of the irrelevant mainline, the sort of diesel one, Marlebone to the little station in Birmingham. I suppose that sort of gives it its charm. Still local hold trains. I suppose sort of the West Coast mainline overshadows it. Only blue 165. Have you been on a Chilton 165 from Moore Street to Warwick? Awesome. I'm going to miss the stop marker there. There's the stop marker. Say bye bye to it. So, yeah. First time driving on the street, so yeah. Look, still in the stations, so that's all good. Yeah, this is Dorridge. I didn't realise, but the route splits off. It splits off right at the beginning, actually, at yeah. um, Nisden. Nisden? This bit goes up over here to Princess Risborough. Oh, no, Ellsbury. And then you get the little bit coming down here to, uh, to Princess Risborough. Right, right next stop is Warwick Parkway in 10 minutes. It's just me that is bored at the airport all the time. I'm not surprised. I mean, I suppose there's not a lot to do. How many stops to Warwick? Uh, well, next one after this. They're yeah, really close to get look at that, just over a mile. It seems really quiet, doesn't it? There you go. They got a window open as well up there. Off place some Sherman Hill, see uh, Metro, thanks for coming in. You've got the guards sitting in the back. You know that building we started yesterday in... Yeah, Davidoff, I, I know. Uh, I'm waiting for my next heist to go. Cool. <laughs> awesome sim. And you open the windows, you you can't actually, I mean, for a just train scene, you can't do a lot in this. Um, yeah, you can't do a lot. And a win no windows, none of this. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do. Well, I suppose this is sort of the base just trains train. I suppose you probably can get an enhancement or something like that. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do. If I'm going to Midlands to London or vice versa, I usually go Chilton Mainline over the West Coast Mainline because the ticket the tickets are usually cheaper for an FNG. It's mind you not the days. Hundred miles an hour a lot here. I don't know if we'll be able to get up to that speed. I think the max in these is ninety. Doesn't say it this one, I think it would be ninety. Same as the one six six. So does the one six five count as a networker? I mean, the 166 is the networker, and they're, well, pretty much the same thing. So I'm guessing this is a networker as well. Hello, Elenia. Uh, just, uh, I have COVID-19, and I've got positive PCR test, so that's not good to hear, uh, Elenia. Well, take it easy. 168, a uh, poor model, looks very basic. Uh, what's today's schedule? Uh, we've got Cathcart Circle after this, and then... I might do another stream. I probably will do another stream. Don't know what it would be on though. I'm thinking flight sim. Um, so we're going to do trucking either tomorrow or Saturday. So. Fair enough sim. Look at the FPS on the street isn't brilliant though.
I haven't had any, I know. And only one person I know who's got COVID. That's because they got tons of football games, which probably isn't the best idea. <laughs> only goes 75 miles an hour. Nearly out an hour. But maybe, yeah. When Ryan flights and what planes do you get with it? A fair few. There you go. I don't know exactly which ones, but you get the A320 in the base game, and that's all sort of the best one. So. Yeah, sounds good, Davidoff. I suppose we can stream it if you want. Was it Alt and R, I think? No, it's Alt and R. There's, you can get like a G-Force over there. It tells you what FPS you're running at. So Alt and S. Alt and Z. Oh, hello. That's, uh... We don't want that. Um, performance. We want that. Do we want that? Yeah, we do want that. Where's the... Um, FPS? No clue. Yeah, that's the performance one it's in. There was another one that you could click on it. Um, is it Alt and R? Yes, there we go. What's that, 39 FPS? Um, which, yeah, I mean, for this sort of route, is is alright. 40, so it's not too bad on train sim. On some of the routes, I get, I think, 70 FPS. Um, or something like that, which is, is good. Shift said that. Maybe Kevin. Hello, Jaden. I'm good. How are you? No, I haven't dabbed off. Sound the horn. Alt F4. Doesn't Alt F4 close the window down, doesn't it? <laughs> or one of them. Sounds good. Uh, I'll just do it anyway, David. Off here. Yeah, I'll do it anyway, mate. And last night went pretty well, so yeah. Don't mind just doing it again anyway. Eighty. That's pretty quick along here. It's not slow. See it then, yeah. right, through we go. I mean, you can't even hear the horn in the cab, which is a bit weird. How far to Warwick Parkway? We've got 2.7 miles. Yeah, who would want this route in Train Sim World 2? I mean, if Just Trains have done it on Train Simulator, um, maybe they could do it in Train Sim World. It may be even the full thing. Quite a odd bridge. Are you going to play flight simulator? Maybe, Kevin. Possibly. Do you go... Oh, do you like in real life train sporting? I don't mind it, but I wouldn't say I'm really into, into it. But I, I don't mind it. But no, I don't, I don't go train spotting in real life. I mean, if there's a train going past, you know, I'll look up and I'll almost going through and maybe wait a few minutes. But no, I'm not really into, into real life train spotting. I just love coming on the simulator and driving. <laughs> Fair enough, um, and then you are. Right, let's start bringing that down. Oh yeah, I did have it off, yeah. Well, I'll turn on the next one's ready. Um, and all we can do that movie Friday night stream. Fair enough, NG. Right, we'll rake Parkway. 
I don't know why it's dead silent. It's weird. Right, let's uh, bring that down. Almost sounds like the engine's off. Maybe that's a bug, I don't know. Right, we're at the Parkway Station. I can see the lights. What trains are there on this route? I think in real life it's a 168, 165 and a 68. I think that's what runs on this route. But included with this route in the game you get the 165 and the 68. This is train is old. Yeah, a little bit sim. This is not the original 166, is it? But reskinned into a 165 from the Great Western Main Line, or is it? The brakes are cheese on this. The Sam T sound mod. Gone past the marker again. I thought this was modern day. <laughs> or is Warwick Parkway a very posh place? Must be. Here comes another service. That one's got sound to it. Got no headlights on, though. Blimey, Warwick Park it must be a quite a posh place. <laughs> Everyone's dressed up really smartly. Going to Birmingham as well, blimey. Yeah, they're proper posh. It is, uh Have they done that on purpose, then? I think it's a reskin 166 because the interior of the train is still 166. Ah, right. Right, way next up is Warwick, which is just around the corner. Go. Hang on, what? Has the engine turned off? Maybe, yeah, maybe I accidentally pressed the... <laughs> maybe when I was trying to do the G-Force thing, I accidentally turned it off. Hold on a sec. That's why it was really quiet. So it not have purple seats. Ah, right. I think it was sort of be blue seats or something. I wonder what this is, the M40 or something? Probably the wrong sort of direction actually. Shall we we'll be in that way? So that's the interior. Here it is. I mean it really depends what route you're playing at LNER. I mean some routes, yeah, do look a bit Mm, the graphics, like the older ones, but the newer routes, say the Chatham Main Line, for example. I mean, the graphics on there look brilliant. I mean, really good. Um, yeah, it really depends what route you're playing. West Coast Main Line South, that one looks very good as well. Sort of more modern routes. We up at Parkway. Ah. It's grey seats in the Main Line, blue on the 167, grey on the 168s. Got you, make them. Yeah, coming into Warwick. Hello, Pep. I'm all good. How are you? Like that down. was it a little two platform station? Yeah, two platform staggered platforms as well. Yeah, I think they're staggered. The 165 is very good to drive on TS. Yes, not bad. I thought it was going to be quite a big station at Warwick. I thought it was quite a big place, but no. Not a lot. Everyone's still dressed all poshly. Very traditional. Yeah, Sebastian, yeah. Oh, AWS. 
it works, it does work. I didn't think we were going to get it. We've gone a little bit past again. Actually, that's not too bad. Right, here we are. So after this, we have got uh, we've got Leamington Spa, and we've got Banbury, uh, and then Bicester North, and then London Marlebone, which is in 90 miles now. We're getting closer. And to put that into perspective, if you watch the Chatter Mainline stream, that's going all the way from Victoria to Ramsgate. That's about 77 miles, so we've still got a long way to go. Leamington Spa next at 45. That'll be just round the corner there. Yeah. Got to say it's a good representation of Warwick Station. Awesome sim. What about the people though? Are they all posh maybe in Warwick? Suits and yeah, looking very smart and uh, smart and traditional. Where's Banbury then? Banbury's in 21 miles. So after this we've got quite a gap. Got a 15 mile gap after Banbury. Then after Bista, it's uh, a very long way to um what's that 55 mile difference? That version of the 165 is decent. I haven't driven the refurbished uh, version of this 165. Alright, bet. Where's. Also, Magnum, you live on that section. Well, this town itself is very picturesque. Ah, I see some. So, looks like we're going to be coming off platform three at Leamington Spa. Slowly start bringing that down. Did you make this scenario? Uh, no. Oh my, look at this coming in here. Weird. Only takes around 40 50 minutes non stop from Bister North to London as it's 100 miles an hour speed. How long is the road? I think 113 miles. We've only done 23. So far. But is this another classic looking station? Uh, Ali, how are you? Got your class 1 training next week. Can't wait to get behind the wheel of a 44 ton truck. Awesome scent. Okay, you've got the fast lines going through the middle. And you've got what, a terminating platform there? No, I think that's a loop platform. And yeah, it has got a more classic feel to it, I think. That's my chair you can hear there. So what line joins up here then? Seems like an interchange place. And the S car stop. Here we are, Leamington Spa. Let's have a look. So we're up here still. Got the line off to Coventry. Uh, 
Oh, wait, wait. Uh, right, our next stop is Banbury at 12.03. Yeah, all good, let's go. The trains go to Stratford upon Avon, terminate here. Uh, can also get to Nuneaton and Coventry, Oxford with cross country. Ah. Guess that would be going down here. Yeah, Oxford. Up to 95, it's going to be. That was a terminating platform there. That's quite cool, isn't it? Going through the town and going over the town. So you had another line which used to follow along here. It's quite weird seeing that, isn't it? Sort of it's all abandoned, bridge bits taken out. Uh, cross country trains join around here, then leave south of Banbury towards Oxford. I wonder what that bit then went over there. Is that the Grand Union Canal going over there? Yeah, to Banbury we have got 19 miles. So a fair distance. Yeah, first time seeing this route, um, so yeah, awesome. I practically know nothing about this route as well. The only thing I know is that it goes between Birmingham and uh, London Marlebone. And that's diesel. It's weird driving uh, a 165, well it's same with a 166 in Train Simulator. Just the way we have got it in Train Sim World where you can use all the other buttons and so yeah, it's uh, just feel weird driving this. 95. So how far to London Marlebone have we got now then? I'm going to reckon 80. 86 miles still. Wow. And we're going all the way. I think it said 110 minutes. So we've still got about an hour and. Yeah, about an hour. Just over an hour, hour and 15 minutes, I'd say. The long stretch is going to be going from. Vista North to Marlebone, where I mean it's almost an hour gap between stops 12.15, So, Magnum, someone was saying about cheaper tickets to the Midlands. How much cheaper is it going on the Chilton main line than on the West Coast main line? Is it like a big difference or just a small difference or maybe a fiver? Going up here at the moment. How long is the route? Uh, 113 miles loop. That's another good question. When high speed 2 gets built in and another probably 50, 60 years, um, what's going to happen to the Chilton Main Line? And I know it'll probably still be here, or everything will still be the same. Um, but yeah, I wonder what sort of. I wonder if it'll be unaffected pretty much. <laughs> £3, that's a banging price. Get a meal deal with that. 
Uh, I don't have that LNR, yeah, I don't have that stretch. Guess we'll probably be coming up on a station round here. See lots of houses appearing. Or a tunnel, yeah, a tunnel. Tiny little tunnel, I think. A strange little tunnel, where we go. Almost seems like that was built. More than one, didn't I? I don't know. Not sure how big difference in terms of standard off peak tickets, but advanced singles you can sometimes get a five pound from one to burn. I'll have to note that down when I'm going up to the Midlands. Hello Matthew, how are you? So it's not a big, big difference in time. Say a uh, free well London North Western Railway service from London to Birmingham, what's that, about an, an hour and a half, two hours? And here it's, well, I suppose about the same. How long till we're at the next stop? Ten minutes, I think. It was at 12.03. Yeah, pretty big gaps between stations. Almost at 90, we've got a 75 coming up. Uh, you know the jabs doesn't stop you getting it, you still get COVID, never off. It's not as bad. Near LNR, near. Chilton is faster than London North Western. Not bad at all, then cheaper and uh, quicker. Not bad at all. Will be a focus to visit in the future. From Warwick to Marlebone, £33. I suppose that'd probably be a peak ticket, wouldn't it? You want the route on TSW? It's realistic, and you know, at times it is realistic. Um, and once you get sort of to the busier areas, and you start seeing yellows and all that, and I would say bored. Do I have the jab? I, I don't know. But then you know, that's yeah. I, you know, I, I wouldn't know. now, uh, we've got 10 miles to Banbury, so we've knocked off 10 already. So I'm for the air brakes to fully release and charge up at the back of the train, or Symmetra. Yeah, it takes about 5 minutes or so, doesn't it, to get going. You want the route on TSW. Afternoon Mark, Happy New Year to you too. How are you? Have you ever been on a class 165 and 166? I'm pretty certain I've been on both. Yeah, because I've been on the Red Inn to uh, Red Hill line a few times, for the North Downs line. And I think it's a mix of 166s and 165s. So yeah, I think I've been on both. Yeah, I've got that in linear, yeah. That can't be going to 90. So how much freight is uh, on this route then? I know I'm asking lots of questions, but I really do not know much about the Chilton main line. Yeah, how much uh, sort of freight do you get on here? I guess probably not much. I guess it probably all goes up the west coast.
How do you work with class 86 and TSW? Class 86 and TSW? I don't think there isn't a class 86 and TSW. Unless you're on about the class 66. Using tickets for £16, it's not bad. A decent bit between Leamington and Banbury will get into Acton. How do you move the A? Oh, in TS. Uh, what one's that on? Is that on the West Coast Mainland North, the 86? So I haven't figured that one out yet. See an old line going over the top there. But uh, six minutes we should be at Banbury. There's only one issue of this route, it's very tree like yes. Um that's probably what causes a bit of the FPS drops here every now and again there's a lot of trees. I just, I, I, I've just done the horn, but you can't hear it from the cab, which is weird. But still pressing space bar, you can't hear it. Got a worker on the line there. You've been on a 166 so many times, awesome, Davido. What about a 165? Yeah, on the outskirts of Banbury. I did do the horn again, you just can't hear it from the cab. Five miles. We are whizzing along. It's up to 90 miles an hour. You saw my 166 got as my profile picture. Yeah, you sure have. Have a week at Exeter. And they were running in the West Country now, don't they? Hey, you fine, Emu. Long time no see. How you doing, mate? I'm all good. Happy New Year to you. Put that down. Do you run this on a desktop or laptop? This is on desktop. You've been on a 165 or something that would off. You've been on every 165 and 166 Chiltern runs, most of them more than five times. Blimey. So you must travel on this route a fair bit then. I think you said your local was Banbury sort of area. Cool. That's a good question. I wonder how many of the 377s I've been on for Southern. I must have been on most of them, apart from like the Dash. Uh, sixes and sevens. That must have been on most of them. You've never been on a 166 or a 165. Time. Yeah, it's not bad, is it, Matthew? Not bad at all. You used to see a lot of 165s, only the GWR ones, so I'm sure there are a couple of 165s in the first Great Western delivery. You've never been on any Electro Star apart from the 378.
What's going on? What's going on? Okay. I mean, the 378 is technically a capital star, but it, yeah, it's pretty much an electro star. Hello, Richard, how are you? Yeah, it seems to be in some places on the street, you do get a bit of um, an FPS drop. Could be to do with all the trees, I guess, as uh, Daniel was saying. There's, there's a lot. How you doing, Richard? Good afternoon. And can we try and get up to 35 likes? We have old semaphore there, lovely. Do love when there's a mix of semaphore and uh, colour on a route. You've never been on an Electro Star? Uh, see, Transport Fusion. So they're mostly in the south, aren't they? Good to have Richard. Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, this is Banbury. You've been in a GWR 387. Awesome. One of the newer Electro Stars. Well, they're already five years old already. I'm quick. <laughs> Fair enough, thank them. Ambry Station, fast, frequent trains to London and Birmingham. So we're here now, you got one to Banbury. Oh, it's at Banbury now. So we've come down from Birmingham and we're now down here. And we're going to Marlebone, which is all the way over here, so we've got quite a way. Will this come to train tomorrow too? I'm not too sure, John. We'll have to uh, wait and see. The rumours are from GWR and one of the train spotting videos is the train spotting video saying pieces are getting scrapped. Um, some said they're coming back right like Bista North next in 10 miles. No, 14 miles. I was going off time. Yeah, sure they did, Pep. <laughs> Yon sort of red for hands at Banbury. <laughs> Hello, train fanatic. Oh, right, there they are, that red vans. Was it some? I'm guessing this is a Royal Mail sorting facility or something. Look at that lovely. Yeah, Bister North next. And I won't call it Bicest, sorry guys, I did when I first did that Oxford to Bicester video. Bicester. Electro Stars are your favourite type of train. Awesome train support 7. Hello train fanatic. Welcome back, how are you? Ah, see they've enough. I'm a good train fanatic, how are you? Yeah, local station's next. I'm guessing we're not stopping there, unless it is Bista. I'm sure there would be another station in 14 miles. Yeah, we've got about an hour to Marlebone. 13.08. 67 miles now. So we're not even halfway on uh, in terms of distance. Oh, 
COVID for the first time yesterday, I feel awful, but never mind. Nah, not good to see a train 30. Well, I suppose, take it easy and rest up. There's another 165. Cool. Well, like a quarter of the way. <laughs> yeah, go away. Here still. That's taken us about an hour to get from here to where we are now down here. On Hotel 35. <coughs> oh, it's 10 days to have it off, isn't it? What's this station? This one is King Sutton. In the middle of. Oh, okay, there is a bit of a town here. Do you think you would do more snow weather videos or streams in the future? Maybe Train Fanatic. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> There's a fun game. Let's give Richard, mate. Right, let's be going left coming up then. So we've got ourselves a junction. Which must be the bit down to Oxford. Uh, yeah. I think that bit went down to Oxford, didn't it? Down here. for coming in this afternoon. We've got 33 people and can we try and get up to 30 likes? Something. Cool. And there's the line, other line going off over there. <laughs> you think they changed the eight by slot rules? Maybe, yeah, they've been looking for that. Never mind, I'm blind. Look at this. Awesome. So I'm climbing back up. And we've got seven miles to Bista North, which we're doing in five minutes. A fairly big tunnel coming up. In we go. Yeah, we got a uh, train some more two after this, which will be on the Glasgow Cathcart Circle. It's been a while since we've done that. And then possibly one later on tonight, maybe on flight some again. So it would only be for about an hour or so. So it looks as if this is uh, bi directional running along here. Look at the signals there on there. Alright, that would off, maybe. I'm 
signal here. Not sure why on the um, map it doesn't come up as saying the signal's there. Because the next one's in 83 on the distance graph. Yeah, it's been about one hour since we left uh, Birmingham Moor Street. And the 10 days still, is it? Uh, let me see who that was, who just subscribed, I think that was. Let me cut the load up there. And back down the hill now. Let's see, thanks to... Getting there. Is it gonna do it? Thanks to Stephen who has subscribed. Much appreciated. Wonderful to see any class 68 shells in. Can whereabouts were they? Um, this set is set in 2016, I think, in this scenario. So I think you would see 68, wouldn't you? Um, maybe that's south of uh, Princess Risborough, maybe. You start to see them. Cheers, Matthew, mate. I think it's a distant signal, whatever they call it. Tells you that signal's red. Is that a thing on this room? Yeah, distance signals are a banner repeater, isn't it, really? <laughs> Cheers, Stephen, mate. Okay. Right, Bista's on the distance graph now, so I'm going to start bringing that down as the brakes are ugh, on this train. They're, they're not nice. So I've stopped at Bista Village before, but not Bista North. Ah, that's it, mate. Whoa. Bit of a drop there in FPS. Doesn't have a worker on the side of the track then as well. Let's bring that down. So how far is Bista North from Bista Village then? Are they fairly close? Is there an island platform? No, there it is there, just haven't loaded in. The show is David off tonight, 8 pm. We're going to be having a look at Dresden to Kamenitz. We'll be seeing it on the Train Simulator channel. Should be awesome. Here we are. <clears throat> Hello Josh, I'm all good, how are you? Does it stop at Leamington Spa? Uh, yes, we do. I think that's next, actually. Uh, Leamington Spa. Oh, no, we already stopped at Leamington Spa. Apologies, I just don't really know the street very well. Yeah, already stopped there. After this, it's Marlbone. A long way. Yeah, we do um, hard off a fair bit on, well, on Train Simulator, not as much. Um, but we've almost got an hour now, well, 50 minutes to Marlebone. Yeah, we did quite a few of the British routes and German routes had this on Train Sim World 2. Is this Train Sim 22? It sure is. That's about awesome, Magnum. 
Why are they walking in the flower bed? Oh, wait. They were planted like just there. Look at that. Wow. So, yeah, where's Bister Village then? I think that's what the other station was called. Oh, I'm guessing, yeah, here it is here, Bister Village. So we've done that a bit before on we've done Oxford to Bicester Village on but well on this before. Yeah, we've done that bit. The surrounding town's bad, I don't know, because I live there. Ah I see Magnum. Uh I don't know, you uh David off. Is this the southeastern line? No, this is the Chilton main line. Yeah, we've now got 54 miles to Marlebone. Have you done the Manchester Leeds route on Trainston World? Uh, yes, Northern Transpennine. Uh, are they titled so I can find them? I live in Huddersfield, so I love the Leeds line. Yeah, it's um, uh, Northern Transpennine, if you want to play that route. Manchester Victoria to Leeds. So then Marlebone to Oxford trains. What's quicker though, Marlebone to Oxford or Paddington to Oxford? Because those ones about an hour and 45 minutes? I don't know what this one would be. So it's a bit quicker. So it goes down to Reading, then back up to Oxford. Is there any live streams tonight? We've got train some more too after this on the Glasgow Cathcart Circle. And then maybe some flights in uh, after that, maybe. Maybe they'll have to wait and see. <coughs> yeah, Stephen, if you're enjoying Trainsome World 1, highly recommend getting Trainsome World 2. Um, it is a big upgrade. Uh, you'll see a big difference with it. Sounds good, Stephen. The Chilton is just quicker than GWR, fair enough. Up to 100 miles an hour. It's a bit of a long stretch, this is. We're not even stopping at uh, Princess Risborough. You think we might stop there? It's obviously quite an interchange stop. But yeah, all the way from here to here now. Going the full way. Awesome Josh, thanks for coming in. Uh, if they preview stream so just keep their cameras on for deaf people. Well, they don't do sign language uh, dovetail. So it wouldn't really make a difference. Is that watching you after school? It takes 50 minutes uh, compared to about an hour 20 on Chilton. Alright. Yeah, it's a bit for that. Sounds good, pet. Yeah, being the 314. Might do that, and maybe the rail tour service. We'll wait and see. Ah, fair enough, uh, Stephen. Yeah, thanks for subscribing, mate. And uh, see you in the next one. Enjoy the dentist. What time does it say we're due in there? It's going to be early. Why does it say we're during that 13.42? That's uh, an hour and 20 minutes away. Unless there's a bug where there's going to be a red light or something for half an hour. Yeah, I don't know why it says 42 past. That is, uh, that's half an hour later than... I don't know. Hello, Mr. Coco, how are you? In real life, the Snow Hill to Marlebone trains up at Bicester North and not High Wycombe, and the more to St. Marlebone trains uh, stop at High Wycombe and not Bicester North. Fair enough, Pet. Have you got the Scottish route from Edinburgh to Inverness? Uh, no, I don't. The Chilton is cheaper, GWI is a bit of a scam. Yeah, that flight, yeah, talking about flights in, that flight yesterday was brilliant, wasn't it? 
from Rio to the place with a really long name. It was good. Especially at the airport was sort of on the on the hill or mountains, so the sort of altitude thing was all mucked up and it was quite fun. Just around my train this morning was cancelled again. Ah, that's annoying. How often are they? Every half an hour or so? Hopefully flights and doesn't freeze tonight. Um, what, did it freeze yesterday for you? I don't think it freeze for us. But, yeah. now we've got a tunnel coming up here, which is weird because it's not actually marked on the distance graph. Oh, okay, it's not really, I'd say. Yeah, it's only a small one. Where we go? Thirty minutes, but it was minus three outside. I mean, yeah. See ya, um, Magnum. Thanks for coming in, mate. Take care. Something's not right there. Unless it is a bug scenario where you're stuck at a red light for half an hour or something. Yeah, I'll probably start training some world about 20 minutes after we finish this. You went uh, to Flight Sim Experience on Saturday and I said that do it monthly, awesome Josh. Later on, train some world and possibly flight sim. And tomorrow, TSW and I don't know yet. But I think we're at the top speed of this train, it's not going anymore, 90 miles an hour. Surviving three one four. Forty five parts now. Oh. We're on our way down though. Is Risper. Don't know, Josh. Okay, well, that's a, if we do do one. Yeah, not sure. What plane did you fly yesterday? The A320. do a flight probably would be uh, somewhere in the US or South America again as it'll be light there Hello Yoshi, how are you? Welcome back. There are pretty long gaps between places on it. I think that's the first stop out of uh, Vista.
Sounds good, Richard. How's that? Yes, in it, Mr. Picot. Try and stay dry. So it's at thirteen forty seven on there, something's not right there. Plans gap between stations in the US are on Caltrain between San Francisco and San Bruno via Milbury. Alright. That's not a big gap then. That's that. 15 miles? In fact, now you've got 22nd Street. Now you've got a few stations between that. You've got. Yeah, you've got San Bruno, you've got 22nd, no, 22nd Street, Bayshore, South San Francisco, and then San Bruno. Alright, Metro. We've got another 165 coming up. Awesome, Richard. Another cell indigest, I think, so awesome. I thought from Milbury to uh, San Francisco it was 22 miles. A bit less then. On 85 coming up. We are struggling up here a little bit. Fairly steep. That's all good, uh, Davidoff. You have a studio to do your live streams uh, no. awesome uh, metro well those trains must get overcrowded really easily as they're well horrible the interiors but with cramps and all yeah, we want to be traveling one on one of them in Russia hello Avnish that's a good mate how are you getting on with the baker though? Two miles apart. Well, I think this is Prince's Risbra. Which we're about to go through. Down here now. Another line here, Chinnor. Next station along is High Wycombe. We're getting there. I'd say probably more than halfway now. Is Stonebridge to Castle and back to almost 90 minutes. Awesome have finish. Quite nice little Stonebridge Park services. Well, not little, but a bit less time to go up to Harrow and Wildstone. The lines do split off a fair bit, don't they? The uh, down and up line. Hello, right? That's all good, mate. All good. 
until recently, I can't remember exactly where they went, but Chilton had class 121s doing runs from Princess Elizabeth and Ellsbury. Yeah, I don't know why the lines do split off so much. Actually, in fact, it looks like it used to be another track there where we fit in. Yeah, here's the other line again joining up. We're going to get there at 13.50 at Marlebone. No, yeah, something's not right there. I reckon we might even get there before 13.08. Uh, I mean, 33 miles, and we've got about 35 minutes, and we're probably doing over a mile a minute, so I reckon we'll get there a few minutes early. Think of right, how are you? Yes, there is the 24 months badge. I think it's a gold one, I think. I just appreciate it, David. Off. I'm just whispering. See you, Josh. Thanks for coming in, mate. Yeah, it'll be Cathcart Circle. Next on Trinton World 2. Well, unless we slow down at some point. We've got an 85 coming up, but that's not a big difference. Another service coming up. Still haven't seen a 68 yet. There's a pretty quick line though. Thirteen forty two sounds like the time it would be uh, due back out to Birmingham. Yeah, it must be NG. Maybe that's why it's saying that, because that should you sort of have to get there before I don't know. Awesome dab it off. We'll be starting the next room about twenty minutes after we finish this one. I think I said it for half four actually. It might be slightly earlier. We've got sixty coming up as well. That's what about. Some buses. They have an FPS drop as well. We've now got 29 miles to Marlebone. We are whizzing down on the speed. down those miles pretty quickly. I mean, 25 miles since Vista. And we've got a 60 coming up, so let's start bringing that down. I wonder what that will be for. I said it for 6pm, did I? Well, we'll be doing it well, a lot earlier than 6 p.m. Actually, I think I think I did set it for 6 p.m. because I thought we'd um, we would do a third stream. I just didn't know if we would or we would, so that's why I didn't I didn't really know what we would do as a third stream. But I think we'll do some flights in. So what I'll do is I'll quickly. Set the other stream for 4:30. So then by then we should be at Mile the Bone. So shall I do 4:45? Be on the safe side. This must be High Wickham coming up. Going straight through. Nice. 
I'll set that a little bit beforehand. So I'll set that for, yeah, I'll set for 445. Right, let's write that up, 85. I think it slows from high working me. Yeah. Hello, laser jet. How are you? Good evening. Now we turn it back up to 100 in a second. Nice. Yeah, we've got 37 people waiting. Can we try and get up to 40 lights? We've got 38 at the moment. I think it's still saying they're yeah, 1554 now. Oh, we've got 26 miles. I reckon we'll get there about one o'clock. And let me see who has just subscribed, I think that would be. Thanks to. Let's do thanks to. It's doing this thing, it's loading. Uh, what was that? I heard it do it soon. Dennis, who has uh, just subscribed, Denise Martinez, thanks for uh, subscribing. Here we go, into another tunnel. We are getting very close now to 5k, so if anyone can help out, that would be awesome. Almost there. That's halfway to sort of the big number, 10k. Yeah, we've come all the way down from Birmingham Moor Street, I believe. So we've gone about 90 miles so far. So yeah, about an hour and a half. So we've gone for the long run. Station. Try to get to the chat again. So almost at the top speed of ninety. I think the ETA is broken, it's definitely going to take one hour from here. No, it's going to be quicker than that, isn't it? Alright, I reckon probably one o'clock um, we'll get there. I mean, it's 20 miles, 21 miles in 20 minutes. That should be doable. Should very much doable. I mean, that says we're going to get there at almost two o'clock. So yeah, don't know. I've enjoyed it so far, it's a nice line, sort of the, 
the sort of uh, overshadowed main line. That's, you know, when you think the uh, best way to get down, you think West Coast main line. You know, the Chiltern main, I suppose, is a bit more underlooked. Uh, but it's been nice. Even though we're um, you know, 20 miles out of London, it still feels like we're in the middle of nowhere in the countryside. It's uh, yeah, it's a nice line. It's got a lot of sort of um, vintage stations as well. Like Birmingham Snow Hill sort of has that old feel to it, and Leamington Spa. I like it. I suppose if it came to train some wild, I don't know if it would be the full thing. Is it 113 miles? And um, that'd be a bit of a sort of mega project, I guess. I, I would imagine maybe Just Trains could do it. Um, I don't know, maybe they could do. Marlebone to Banbury or something like that. That's slightly less. Just past Sear Green, awesome Daniel. Nineteen miles. Getting there. And don't we pass? alongside the underground at some point. In fact, that could be this coming up. Yeah, pretty simply pass alongside the underground know, at one point. We run alongside it. Quite a uh, tunnel there. <laughs> uh, I have to play Roblox because I'm at my grandparents' house, so that's all good to play the jet. Well, realistically, would you run fast from Ban no, Bista North to Marlebone? It seems quite far to run fast. Hello, um, Seitong, how are you? Central line from West Roy slip for a little bit, then after Wembley pass alongside the Jubilee Metropolitan right until Finchley Road. Oh, yeah. Hello Jeffrey, when do you pass Amersham? I'm not sure. Uh, let's have a look at the map. So we are not far now, so oh, that place is called Denham Golf Club. I wonder how many blooming trains that gets. It's a golf club station. Did that get me any? Um, Denham. It's after Denham. Denham. This looks like something. This is, what's this? Yeah, West Rice Slips. Then we can see the underground. Then we're going over here. So I guess maybe around here we'd see the underground. Hey, we're going to command that. You just want to see what's new in the first round of 2022, fair enough. <laughs> That's good, ladies and gentlemen. How you say to Hello, King Carrot. Just got home. Welcome back. You pass Amersham, then you're along the side Yeah, we've got 15 miles to London Marlebone. I don't know if the FPS is going to drop a little bit as we come into London. Whereabouts are we? We are, well, just went through Denham. Amersham is on the Ellsbury branch, I think, not this one, but you do pass the Metropolitan for a bit on this branch. Awesome, 156. Yeah, a few FPS drops now as we're coming into the city. That seems to be sort of on and off on it. There's a massive route though, so it's understandable. 
and the amount of trees as well. That is a lot. There we are. Where are we? We're here. So yeah, you've got the underground over there, I think. Yeah. Hang on, they've hang on a second. They've actually got a tube train there. Look at that. Brilliant. Cool. Pokemon class 20 slash 21s in there. That's ah, brilliant. I'm all underground trains. That's pretty cool. Yeah, not too far, King Carol. Not far. Very much in London now. Is this uh, from an in game scenario? Yes. Has the ETA sorted itself? No, it still says 2 o'clock. On train to World 2? Nice, oh, Sebastian. You like the underground trains being there, although it should be the central line ones, not the S8 if being picky. That's true, NG. What services have you done, Joe? Have you had any children? Uh, just Birmingham, Moor Street to London, Marlebone. One Hotel 25, I believe. Yeah, 11, 12. 10 miles. So close. Yeah, our last stop was Bister North, which was at 12.15, so it's been 33 minutes since uh, since we last stopped. It's so pretty quick. Ah, that's the aviation. Where have we stopped? We have stopped at Birmingham Snow Hill, uh, Solly Hall, I'm trying to remember them all, uh, Warwick Parkway, Warwick, uh, and then it was, I think, Leamington Spa, uh, Banbury, Bister North, and then Mildbone, which I'll pick it up and you can see. Oh, Dorridge as well, we stopped at Dorridge. Residential was very straight, fast running, but East Coast Man and West Coast Man and route was a bit too kind too late for being a high speed route. Uh, so I normally start to slow down, it's still 90 uh, along here, 8 miles to go. Up the Wyland platform, it's a very small station. Doesn't have a service. Yeah, we are almost there now. Almost. 85 coming up. FPS is going down a little bit as we come into London, but fair enough. It's the big city. I can see the Wembley Arch, I think. Yeah, Wembley Arch. Can't be sitting there. there. Wembley Arch there, where the cursor is. And there's a the stadium there, so I've been over this station before. 
Uh, Wembley. There's Wembley. See how I've walked over, walked over the bridge back there. Before. Over here in the diesel train driven up. Yeah, it seems to start to come down now. Yeah, it does one, uh, does Andrew. And it's just a reskin 166, pretty much. Another one. Awesome. And another one. Number two. Brilliant. sound to it. I don't know, Pet, I'm yeah, not sure, probably a Nilston one as usual. Don't uh, full match the exterior view shots. Uh, cool, isn't it? Very steep gradient at the moment, coming up here. Very good point, NG. Yeah, that is a bit weird, isn't it? Hopefully it isn't a glitch. Well, probably wouldn't be, but... Yeah, a little bit peculiar. Unless that's why I said we would get there so late. And now it says 1 o'clock. Oh, maybe because the points weren't set originally, maybe. Hello Magnum, welcome back. Yeah, down here now. Let's just round into there. What's that? Kilburn. West Hampstead, Finchley Road. Almost there, our 112 mile, 113 mile journey is almost at an end. Fair enough, Pet. We might get the Metropolitan Line at some point. That's a pretty cool. We are, uh, Andrew, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Being on the wrong line. Hang on a second, we should go over the... No, we've already, already done it, haven't we? Go over the Bakerloo line. I suppose that would have been a bit further up, though. That might have been be on this bit here. Yeah, it would have been here, wouldn't it? Where the Bakerloo line, the West Coast Main Line goes along. Oh god, that's been down. Into a tunnel. What's faster than underground or 165? Probably the 165. 
Are we in a tunnel all of the way? Oh, there we go. We're back out. Oh, and then back into another tunnel. Almost out of London by the bone. It's about an hour and 45 minutes that's taken us down from Birmingham. That's the engine. Why are you on the wrong side of the track? No clue. Probably going over the west coast mainland, yeah. That's down to 25. That was a nice journey though. I uh, rather did enjoy that. That was, yeah, the Just Trains Chilton mainline. Thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a code to uh, show that off. Hello, Mr. Adams. Yeah, nice, uh, nice little main line. More sort of quieter, less busy feel to it than the west coast. Nice charm to it, that's the best way to say it. Yeah, nice charm to the Chilton main line. Fair enough, make them. Hundred and thirteen miles we've just driven. A local train spotter. Awesome, mate. Sorry, bring that down. Don't know why that's train stop so far from the buffers. Sorry. I'll screw up now. Here we are. This is. Um, we made it. This is. Uh, this is London Marlebone. Well, that does conclude. We're not going to wait for. Set, uh, was that nine minutes until it goes through the clock? That is going to be everyone for today's uh, today's train simulator live stream. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. That was the Chilton Main Line from Birmingham all the way down to London. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. You will find a link from um, Amada Bone Runs A, Platform X, A, and that same Platform B. Ah. But yeah, that's going to be it. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. I'll be back in about half an hour's time with some Glasgow Cathcart Circle on the successor to Train Simulator on Train Sim World 2. Well, I suppose Train, yeah, Train Sim World 2, as I say, is then successor to Train Sim World 2020. But yeah, anyway, thanks all for coming in. Have a lovely. Oh, there you go, it's done it anyway. You drove this normal scheduled service in fine style. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks all for coming in, and I'll hopefully all see you in the next one. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.